October, November of 1960 is when we met. And by the time I knew something about photography, really, I'd had an encounter with photography, but I'd also done what I wanted to do and put it down. And it was only attending art school. And really, it was as we knew each other. And she really did encourage me. I'm saying, my parents are not going to like this, but this is what I feel I really must do. I'm, Somehow I think I'm an artist, whatever that is. And she said, you have to find out. You have to test it for yourself. I know there are many times that Emmett will say to me, stand right there, just stand still. And he'll go get his camera and I'll stand still. And, and then it happens that he will photograph and maybe it's a really good one and maybe it isn't. But it often is Emmett looking at just a moment and passing as I'm standing somewhere. And he will say, just stop, stand there. Yeah, hold, hold that. Stay, stay. I don't remember the year perfectly, but 1970, say. And we had been, it was the Christmas season, and uh, Edith's mother lived in a very small house, four rooms, little small wooden house, and everybody was in one room, except us. There might have been eight or ten people in a single room watching a football game. And there was such exuberance and excitement in the other room, and we're sitting there alone just looking at each other, and there was that sense of They're so into their world, and our world is so separate from theirs. And she, I was making some pictures of her, and she opened a shirt like this. And I said to her that if someone were to come through the door, they wouldn't even believe what they were seeing. They were just, and in fact, well, it, was, it was a kind of unconscious awareness. That nobody's going to come through that door. But it, but it really had to do with the kind of binary or paral, parallel worlds that we inhabit. In, in one room, you don't know what's going on in the next room. And yet, we're f physically, biologically linked to each other. We're right there. You know, the, there are no secrets, and yet the secret is still worth the holding. It's like a, you can hold such a secret. So anyway, it's a picture about a secret. People often ask, how does it feel to walk around a gallery and see the photographs of yourself? And now that 50 years has passed since the first photographs, uh, the cover of the Maffrey book is um, almost 50 years uh, old now. And um, it is so long ago, I almost don't recognize who that person is. I um, can often remember events that happened uh, while Emmett was photographing me. And it's, uh, I feel like it's me, and yet it is a life that has passed. Uh, I always felt that Emmett photographed me because he loved me. Would he have photographed me in the loving way if I was a person on the street? I have seen beautiful photographs of Emmett's uh, that he did of the street photography um, in Rhode Island. but. Um, the photographs of me in an intimate feeling, in an intimate way, I think is through love, and therefore I feel like a woman who has, has been loved, somebody who cares for somebody. And I think when people come in to see the work, they see that. And as I've said, they, they carry that through themselves, who they are. I don't know if you remember, but once somebody over dinner said, oh, you're the, you're the Edith. You're, just don't mind me saying, but all those pictures are just too personal. And I'm sitting on the other side of the table trying not to listen, not to look, and I'm sort of being very shy, and I hear Edith's response. She says, I don't know what you saw, but the pictures that are too personal we don't show to anyone. <laughs> so it's, there, is, there is an edge, there is a boundary 
that's just natural and you don't know what it is. In life, you live out of your enthusiasm for life. But you also know that some things are really private and that's it. And some things are, they come very close to what, the, what we imagine as being too private. But in fact, they're so separate from us. It's like what will be left of us when we're gone. In this way, I really believe, once the photograph is made, it can survive very nicely without us. And in many respects, that's what you want. You want something that's so full of an embodiment of what it was to be in your life that when you're not there, it still has something of that essence. <laughs>